Yeah, before we do this uh, 2.5 mil exercise, uh, make sure you, do, you have downloaded this file ex one to your booking folder. After that, we, we are going to import the file into the NC. Select import for, from external. Create a new file. Select this ex one uh, make sure uh, over here the file type you selected the DWG and go to your working folder then select ex one and uh, under the options cancel the drafting we're not going to import this one to drafting we will import the model and import into the NC make sure that your model and the NC is selected and select OK And Simatan will automatically import the 2D curve into the NC. Next, uh, we need to do something on the CAD. So I want to switch to CAD mode. Click on this icon here, switch to CAD mode. Over here, you have inside the NC file, you have the full function of the Simatan CAD. Yeah, uh, I have a small window, so I, I always can customize my icon. Let's say for this, I don't want to just drag and click close. If you, are, if you want to open back the icon bar, you can right click and select which one you will show back. Okay, for now, uh, I'll display uh, this one. Okay, this is good for me. Next, I will change the color of the this one, the curve, uh, except the UCS. Uh, uh, let's change it to maybe a black color. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to create a plate, the material for this, the stock outline for this part so I can always uh, use a very uh, fast and easy function su such as this function here uh, curves to the bounding just select everything and I have a box and over here I would uh, create the offset if I want Offset or define value. So I think I'll define my own value. Uh, the width, let's put it to 260. And uh, that's 250 is enough. And the height, uh, we'll put to 80. How about 80? No, 90. Okay. And then I have an option here to create a UCS or not. Uh, normally, when we try to uh, we start to machine some parts, we always uh, want to take the work peak center as our uh, UCS. So I will say create a UCS at the center, and then click OK. So this will create a a box and the UCS at the center. So I will rename this UCS. Right, select and rename. Rename it as Z54. This is my machine zero point. And I will use this UCS uh, filter here to hide hide away the model and activate the the G54 UCS. When the UCS is activated or become active, it is in a red color. Okay, now we are ready to machine, start the machine. And what you need to do is select this icon here, go back to cam mode. There you are. Save your file. Before start any machines, uh, first thing that we need to create is the two part folder. Uh, this toolbar folder will contain all the cutting process or that you created. 
the first thing you have to take care is the UCF. So make sure the this UCS is uh, yeah, make sure you selected the UCS that you want. And I will make sure G54. This is our machine zero point and our no our part zero point. Sorry. And the name will be automatic, pp underscore g54. Uh, if you want to change it, you can change it. And uh, machine type, of course, uh, you can work from 2.5 to 5. So by default, we choose uh, two point, uh, 3 axis. We will choose 3 axis. If your machine cannot move 3 axis together, the x, y, z together, only can move x, y together, then you have to choose 2.5. Yeah? Let's choose three axes for now. And the so micro milling is uh, uh, if you need to create some cutting process, uh, the tolerance below one micron, and you own this. Yeah, that is for very small cutter. And for now, just ignore this. And the start point, this start point will let the two. Uh, is where the two are coming from the home position of the machine to this point before start cutting. Yeah. So the default is uh, zero y zero. Yeah. If you want to change the position, you can use this uh, arrow here to change. You can highlight any point to change the x y value. So I will put the zero and zero and z. Make sure the z level or the clearance to be the highest point. It must be higher. It must be higher than your all the clamps and zigs to avoid collision. And command you can key in any command you want. There's a 2.5 x mill. And click OK to create a two path. So after you create two parts, the next step you need to do is to tell the simaton, okay, to tell simaton what is your stop looks like. Uh, so I want to click the stop over here, and uh, I have a lot of options. I will use the box options, and I will choose the uh, select box and select first point and the second point. And I will change the Z. Maybe this is minus 50, the thickness. And we'll put maybe uh, 2 mm of material for facing. Right? So let's go to the side view. You can see, right? We have 2, two mm extra material above the uh, face, the part face above the zero. So later on, we're going to do some facing operations here. And you can change color if you want, of course. And this is a transparency. You can adjust how transparent you want to see the stop. And you just click OK to create the stop. Next, I'm going to create a face face mill cutter for the face mill operations. Click on the cutter here, and I will change this FM50 and uh, flat mill and diameter will be 50. Cut length is okay. Clear length is okay. Uh, let me change the number of teeth to four. Yeah. If this is okay, then click OK. This is our face meal for this uh, face meal operations. Next, uh, click on select the stop so that you can create the process under the stop and select the procedure. And we're going to use a two and a half axis procedure for far open contour. And to select the contour, you need to click the on zero here. Click here. And you can see the whole composite curve is like highlighted. So this is uh, not what we not what we want. So we cannot can we will cancel the composite uh, curve filter here. Cancel it. Now you can select only one edge. And now looking at the arrow. Okay. So the milling side we are going to choose the right side. Okay. 
So if this edge is okay, then plus meter button to accept. If there's another contour, you can select. If there's no, flat the meter button again to exit the selections. So now I selected only one edge for the facing operations. Next, uh, I will go and choose my cutters. My cutter will be the base mid 50 diameters. And next, I will go and change my uh, two trajectory. Okay, my top. So I need to tell the system, okay, where is the top face of the material? That will be the 2 mm. Okay, and uh, the bottom face, it will be the 0. We're going to do a face mill operation down to the uh, bottom face of 0. And down step is 25 mm for now. So don't worry. If you pin 25, you will not cut 25 because the maximum is 2 mm, 2 to 0. You will cut only 2 mm. And let's calculate. Okay. 